Okay, Kitty Pies, it's May 31st, 2020, and I thought I'd do a review and overview of my restoration on my big dog cart last year. So I bought this last May from a guy up in Pennsylvania, and um, I was looking for a cart. I knew I wanted a big dog cart, or a, um, and this was up for sale. He was asking four grand for it, and I um, thought it was way too much. I could tell it needed a little bit of work in the photos. I told him, I said, you know, you could almost buy a new one for that price. So he came down to two grand, so I ran up there and picked it up. So just a couple uh, cautionary things when you buy a cart. I'm gonna go over what to look for when you buy a used cart, especially one of these. Um, big dog carts. Uh, and, uh, how they're, and I'm gonna go over how they're built, quality-wise, and what to look for um, when buying one. and. Um, how they work and the layout and everything so so I went up there gave him two grand for it but I made a couple mistakes I uh, didn't I was kind of kind of excited I signed the papers went out didn't check the water heater on it the water heater when I got home didn't work the burners didn't work that good um, the grill worked good and um, everything was just dirty and rusty underneath um, and I really, you know, you're, it's wrapped in stainless, so it looks good. So, basically, I said from there, I'm just really weird. I like everything clean, especially when it comes to uh, my catering business. I want it to look really sharp. So, I basically, I stripped everything down. Those are stainless panels on it. I took it all down to the frame. And if you notice, I took all the rust off the frame. And make sure when you're buying a cart, ask the owner if it's been garage kept. If it's not, you're going to have a lot of trouble. There's going to be rust everywhere on these things because those frames rust pretty easy. And uh, so basically, I got it home, stripped it down, and started a restoration on it. Now, I'm going to go over the things I like about the big dog cart first and then the things I don't like about it. So first, I like the removable hitch it has on it. And that's pretty decent quality. And also... It's an inch and seven eighths ball on there. Make sure when you get this, especially if you're towing it with a truck, you get it with a, a larger drop than this, because if not, it's going to be tilted up in the air when you're towing it. Now these trailers tow really good. Um, you could do highway speeds, no problem. Even hundreds of miles, you can go with it. Wouldn't worry about it. The only problem towing with this thing is, is if you got two full tanks of propane in the back there. It's going to sway on you, so take the propane tanks out, and it should correct that sway. Now, the things I like about this are, um, I love the way it's laid out. This is laid out like an old-time um, hot dog vending cart. It's laid out where you could really um, do good business, and um, it's got the good stainless on it. That's the real good stainless sheets, 304. Um, I think that's one of the best qualities you can get. Um, I do like the full steam table on it. The grill on it, basically that's um, it's a cheaper grill, but it works good. You can get that grill at Cabela's for 99 bucks right now. Um, and it, it, it gets hot, it, it really does a good job. Um, it's got the really good umbrella, I like that. It's very sturdy, very big, nice. Um, it's got always get the four sinks if you can sinks are small um, and they're just steam table pans made into sinks uh, it works now it comes with a plastic faucet which is kind of cheap I upgraded to a Delta faucet with a tall faucet just because I could um, so the water heater I had was shot, so I had to put a new one in. Now this ain't exactly the one he sells, because the one he sells has the batteries coming out here. This one, the batteries come up from the bottom, so it was a little hard to get that in there. Because um, you see the vents, the gas off the top there. You need a little air space up there for that to breathe. Um, if you're going to put one in, you basically got to take this um, bread box off. So it works good now. I got it all figured out. Um, got the big bread box I like that a lot of storage um, 
I like the fact that you got the condiment shelf in the back. That way you serve your customers, they can serve themselves. Now when I do mine, I, I'm going to have another shelf I'm going to put up here. I'm going to have just mustards up here. Okay. This is the picture from the back. It's got the big dogs got the bigger cooler in it. Uh, pretty well. It, all it is is a Coleman cooler, basically. So it's laid out nice, a nice stainless. Um, floor plan on it's nice. Um, but let me go over the things I don't like about it. Okay, well, even though those are Harbor Freight trailers or uh, Northern Tool trailers, they're made in China, they're not bad. They're good quality um, for what they are. They're nice and lightweight. You can move them around by your hand. Now, what I don't like about the trailers is when they build them up underneath here, see down there they, they make that frame to extend off the harbor freight trailers but they don't really prime them or paint them so they're gonna rust especially if you get one that's been sitting outside like this one was also these are Chinese made burners they work good there's only one problem though if they got rust on them like this it will affect your burn so you're gonna have to wire brush them out take pipe cleaners clean them out blow them out and then you'll get a really good burn out of it so um, not bad but you just got to keep them clean out of the water. So I took this down and I put pour 15. I cleaned all the rust out of the frame. Pour 15 on all on it. And that stuff is super strong. And then also, the fuel rails on these are kind of cheap. But don't over torque them when you use them. Just go lightly. You, you should be fine. I wish they had an igniter system in here. You got to light it with a lighter. You got to bend over and look all the time. And I wish there was like increments to tell you how hot you were burning. These don't do that. Also, that third wheel there, it's a good idea. It's kind of hard to get to. Rolls really good. But the tire on it, that comes with them, they're pneumatic and they always blow out. Now that's the solid rubber tire on there that they sell on the, on the parts list of Ben's carts. The problem is I bought a solid tire for it. But the baron was wrong, so you had to buy a baron and put replace the baron, which wasn't a big job. It was just if you buy something, you should be able to bolt right up to it. The wiring is basic, uh, nothing fancy. Um, now, what else? You know, it's just the tanks are basically. Tanks are just basic plastic tanks. I wish they had put stainless on the inside, but that's galvanized on the inside there. That's another thing I'm really not a fan of. Um, but other than that, it's not a bad cart. See, yeah, when they put the sinks in, they silicone them in. They did that. They silicone the uh, cooler in too, which is not a good quality build. Should be able to. Uh, at least if you're going to do that, at least tape it off so it doesn't ooze out of the sides here. Oh, and another thing that I don't like about these carts is inside here, this piece here, they had that expanded metal in there. The problem is it was so thin that it was bending the uh, metal. It was all rusted. So I took it out and I put stainless in there. Now that piece there was 150 bucks just for that. Another thing I don't like about this cart is... They don't put tank tie downs in there. Uh, you put the tanks in there going on a row, they're going to beat the inside of this all up. Another thing I wish they could do better is this is the battery. The battery is super cheap. It's one of them little small batteries. Um, it just, and if you buy them from Ben, you're going to probably get a dead battery. I bought a brand new one from him, came dead and never took a charge. So, so that was another thing I didn't like about it. Um, Water pump is good. You can see in here, all this framework was rusted. I had to take it down. I put pour 15 on there. Um, I had to reinforce back here. I welded a couple more pieces to reinforce it. I had to uh, re-weld a couple welds that I didn't like. Um, so, and another thing I don't like about it is 
for an extra couple bucks, they could go with LED lights. They don't put LED lights on them. So, um, but other than that, it's not too, too shabby. It's laid out nice. Now, what I did is I took it down. I spent eight hours just scrubbing the uh, stainless panels. Now, this is, um, I wrapped it in red chrome wrap. And I got this off of eBay. Uh, you could do the whole cart for probably 60 to 80 bucks. Okay. I didn't wrap the top just for uh, sanitation reasons. That's my logo there. I got that logo done. I got two of them done for right around 60 bucks. Barbecuelogos.com. He'll do these uh, logos for you. That was what I wanted. He drew that up for me. On oh, another thing I don't like about these carts is on the bread box here, there's no way of keeping these doors shut when you're towing. So when you're towing, you can open up and rattle and shake. So most people use bungee cords. Well, that's going to scratch your stainless or whatever you got here. So what I did, and I know a lot of people think this is hack, but it's really not. I just I put, drilled it out. I put a nut cert in there, okay? See how it's held in there? There's a special tool you use for that. And then I just close it, and when I, before I go towing, I just put that in there, snug it down, and it keeps it nice and tight and locked down on both sides. I wish they would put those in there. I don't know why they don't. I wish they'd put these on and tank tie downs. Um, so. so I wrapped it in red chrome. These are just basic bicycle handle grips. I got these off of eBay. I think they were like seven bucks. I wanted a red theme. Um, and these are the fenders I took off. I work in a body shop, so I took them off, painted them up nice. You can see they shine really nice now. I undercoated them. I put the LED lights on. And um, up under this frame here, I painted it really good so if water gets in there. There you can see the tank tie downs I put in there. So, and another thing I wish, it's kind of hard to get in there with the tanks, but that's just part of the deal when you buy these. So, here's the ID tag for it. Another thing on these carts here, the hardware that comes with them is not good hardware these are these are stainless hardware i bought um you see i i don't know if that'll adjust but the ones on there get wet and they rust another thing i don't, don't really like about this if you look in here that's all new stainless high quality stainless hardware now holding the bread box on so you're gonna should upgrade that like i said before the cooler is a coleman cooler with the lid taken off set into the frame another thing i don't like is they they silicone the stainless to this and it just oozes out it just looks really bad um what i did is i cleaned that all off and i put a rubber gasket in there and so when i put the top stainless on it squished it down made a nice nice tight seal a lot cleaner sanitation wise uh there's the tank tie downs there and there and also on this cart i got this off of Amazon or eBay. This is the remote. I have LD, LED light strips on underneath. So at nighttime bending, it looks like the cart will be hovering or glowing. You could change the light scheme, the uh, colors, whatever you want. Really, really, that's really nice job. It does a nice job at nighttime. As you can see there, I didn't replace that. You can see that's what all the hardware looked like when I got it home. That rust. I mean, come on, you could at least put stainless in there. The grill works really good. It gets nice and hot. It, fire, it fires right up every time. Also, I put this side table on. I got this side table off of eBay. Now, something about stainless. There's different grades of stainless. This is the really good stainless that comes with the cart. This is the 304. This stainless here isn't as good. Um, so you're gonna have to, you don't wanna keep water on this for a real long time or it will rust. And a magnet does stick to this, so it's a lower grade. Also, this is the better hot dog sled. Now, don't get those taco holders. They're garbage. These are, this was like $35.
I got this from Top Dog Carts in Orlando, Florida. Um, they sell those. Now there's the roll top. I got that off of eBay or Amazon. It was $60 or $65 shipped to my door. Really good price. So this is my setup here. This is how I how I vend. I like this setup here like this. Now these flip tops I got from Top Dog Carts too. These are the better quality ones. They have the really nice hinges on them. Um, they lay flat. They deburr the edges. Really good quality. So, so when I'm vending, I put my buns in here. How many people I see coming out? Keep them laid in there. I have a stainless cylinder I put in here. I put my chili in. And then I have my server for chili. I have a small, this is a bar stirrer for barroom drinks. I serve my chili with that, out of that, so it's not in the stove pan. It makes cleanup a lot easier. I keep, I keep my buns in here. My chili will be over here. And I keep my cheese sauce in a plastic squirt bottle in the water here. So everything stays nice and warm and hot. And the buns will steam in here. I keep them up off the water and put them in here. They don't get too soggy. I was surprised. So I keep that closed. Open it up. Grab your bun. Chili or cheese. And then very easy. You flip it up. Grab your dogs. You got three separate areas for three different dogs. There's your um, false bottoms you could use. Okay. Um, this has got the really good umbrella. Very good quality. I like that. So, overall, it's a pretty good trailer. Um, it's laid out nice. Um, there are some cheap things on it, but um, it's not bad. I mean, I wish they'd, the build quality was a little better up underneath. Um, and Once again, I wish they would put latches on those uh, bread box doors. Tank tie downs, LED lights, uh, the non better third wheel there up underneath. Um, but other than that, it's all pretty decent. Those grills there, you can't complain too much. That grill works fine. The steam table layout is awesome. Oh, another quick tip too if you're cleaning stainless on the side, just use those microfiber towels and some Windex or window cleaner, and it cleans up really, really fast, takes the streaks out. So this thing pushes really easy. You can push it. I mean, I, I'm getting older. I can push it super, super easy. So um, so that's the overview of the big dog cart. Um, you know, there's not going to be the best quality, but the, the outside stainless is awesome. I mean, you can't beat that. The layout is awesome. Um, you really can sling a lot of dogs really fast with this cart. And um, eventually I'm going to put an area in the front there where I could have um quick way to pull my buns out so when i'm getting busy i could just keep slinging without having to keep going back and forth to that bread box so hopefully this helps um it is a good cart um there are some things on it i wish were better the, the water heater isn't the greatest but they're pretty cheap um i paid 80 dollars for that water heater off ebay because the one that came with it didn't work with it um so if they go it's 80 bucks the ones on ben carts i think he's asking too much for them but that's me now that side table there i had that made modified for myself um it took me about three months to figure out how i was going to do that and also i had to weld in a special reinforcement on that frame for that table just to make it extra strong when you're doing that so uh, once again you got to think before you uh start restoring these things or taking them apart but it really wasn't that bad I replaced it all with aluminum rivets, um, so hopefully that holds up very well. Very pleased with this cart. Toes good, looks good, especially in that red wrap. Okay, kitty pies. Hopefully this helps.